Guys, the rent is too damn high. Can we agree? The rent is too high. So what I've been doing to fight high rent prices in my neighborhood now is every time the house across the street from mine goes up for sale, and I know they're gonna do like the walkthrough thing, I start walking around the block like a creep. <laughs> And I keep doing this until they're done, and it's usually like a cute couple looking at the house at the end, and I come up and I'm like, hey guys, you gonna be our new neighbors? They're like, oh, we hope so, we love the house, it's so beautiful. I'm like, it is such a beautiful house, but such a tragedy that happened there a few months ago. <laughs> they're like, oh, well, what are you talking about? It's like, well, old Bill, man, old Bill lost his job one day, he came home, he killed the kids, he killed the wife, he shot himself. But he lived, you know, so he's got like a fucked up face in prison. <laughs> You know, but with sentencing laws these days, he's gonna be out there bidding on the house in no time with you guys. <laughs> By telling true crime stories to prospective homeowners, guys, I've been able to keep that house on the market for six months. <laughs> Do your part. <laughs> uh, any millennials in the house? People in their 30s, 40s? Hey, hell yeah, man, this is for us. Uh, we might have been teenagers around this time, but you guys remember the year 2005? Good year, good year. George W. Bush was reelected and the Democrats didn't try to overthrow the Capitol. Uh, you know, there might have been a couple guys from the military at your school trying to recruit you into a new party in the Middle East called the War on Terror. I'm really glad I didn't go because that just like ended like recently. That was a long time. Oh, and you could see My Chemical Romance for like less than 20 bucks. Yeah. <laughs> It was a good time, but there was also the family computer. You remember the family computer? It was a good time too, man. It was probably the first place you guys watched pornography. You remember that? You remember being up there doing that thing and then your mom would come down the hall and be like, hey man, I need to make a phone call. Like, why the fuck are you on the internet? You're like, mom, give me like 15 minutes. I'm talking to my MySpace girlfriend. <laughs> She's like, well, why don't you just call her? Because I'm emo, mom, you wouldn't understand. <laughs> Like emo, what is that? Like gay? Is that is that what all the girl pants and stuff's about? I would have bought you some new girl pants if you would have just said something. Uh, there's really nothing to the end of that bit, guys. It's just a walk down memory lane. <laughs> oh shit! You guys like aliens? The space kind, of course. Sometimes I'll I'll ask that and people will get weird and they're like, I wanted to say no, but I thought you, you know, you'd single me out, call me racist or something. It's like, well, I might, dude, I, I do look like a Viking that was raised by Latinos, you know? Uh, but you guys seen this on the news though? These things flying around, it's crazy, man. I've been thinking a lot about who should go to meet them, right? Like who should go to represent us? And you know, I might be a little biased because I do look like weed if it were a person. <laughs> But I think we should send the stoners, right? Like we should send the Grateful Dead fans, we should send the Wooks, the fucking art teachers. <laughs> but, and I also might be a little biased because of all that porn I watched on the family computer. But I think we should send the sex workers too, you know? Because we know that sex calms things down here on Earth, we just don't know what the aliens are into yet. But I also think about like, what if all that goes terribly wrong? Like, what, what if we go to smoke weed with the aliens? We're like, hey aliens, pass it to the left. And we give it to them, and they hit it, and they're like allergic to weed, and they just drop dead in front of their armed goons, you know? <laughs> or even worse, like the sex stuff doesn't work. Like the aliens are asexual or something. <laughs> and it's like that, or it's like that movie Avatar, and they have those tails, and now there's just a dominatrix out there screaming like, you know, we come in peace. Grabbing this one, get it, because the dominatrix said come. <laughs> Stupid. Uh, you guys hear about the Google guy who got fired recently because he came out and told the world that the AI was sentient, that the computer was sentient. You hear about that a while ago? Okay, well, that happened. Uh, but it's such a crazy thing to think about, though, like robots and sentience, you know? Because on one hand, if you ask someone like our vegan friends what sentience means, like, obviously, they'll be like, obviously, it feels pain. Like, something, if it's sentient, it could feel pain. We've heard that a lot from our vegan friends. But if we ask like our lawyer friends what that means, it'll be like, obviously as civil rights, like it may now be a sex crime to masturbate within five feet of a smartphone. <laughs> like, Siri's gonna meet you, all of us. But I think the most important question we're not asking when it comes to like robots and sentience though is like, can it get high, right? <laughs> like, can I blow weed smoke into my smartphone and all of a sudden the pizza starts showing up automatically at 420? <laughs> We're like, hey Siri, can you surf something on the web for me? And she'll be like, I'm so sorry, Joe. I'm so scared of spiders right now. I cannot do that. 
All right, that is my time. I'm Joe Bruno. Give it up for your host. Thank you, guys.